Okay, something different with this video clip. Uh, it's not air tag number four, it's air tag number three that's on its way. Air tag number four is stuck in Sydney and doesn't move anywhere in the moment. I have no idea why that is, but um, the easiest way to deal with this is uh, keep the ball rolling with air tag number three. So I have sent that one to Austria. So um, after this little uh, intro, we go to what we have planned in the first place. But always remember this time it's air tech number three, not number four, which makes no difference really. Okay guys, see you later, bye bye. Oh, there you are, okay. Today we sent uh, the air tech to Austria. Okay, I will fill in the paperwork and the air tech itself and then they have to go to the post office and uh, get it on its way so first we have to find a pen here we have a pen and um, now I will do the paperwork okay see you in the moment so okay the paperwork is done now we have to pack the air tag properly So that is nice and cozy in that envelope. Which is done. Now we can go to the post office. Okay. I will be on my way and get that show on the road. Okay guys, see you later. Okay, so the um, air tech is in the office and then went to the Parap post office. And then it did its usual way, went to the um, Vanelli business hub. And as you can see, that is walking distance from my office. And uh, next time I caught the uh, traveler was on the turn off to the airport and it went to the Qantas uh, freight center and from there to the terminal. It was all very quick, I was amazed. And then I looked it up, oh here, uh, from my office to the airport is walking distance, really, if you could get across the runway. And um, I looked it up and I was sure it went with the Melbourne flight QF-837 and it did. It went to the right terminal and got loaded into the plane. And here we go, onto the runway and off we went. We were on the big trip to Graz. And this blew me completely away. I had several pings on the way to Melbourne. I'm not quite sure how that works, how that traveler can see a Wi-Fi connection while it's in the cargo hold flying in the airplane in 10,000 meters. That is, I don't know, I don't understand that. But anyhow, not to worry. It happened and um, I followed it all the way through Melbourne and it did several pings on the way. and. These pinks are in the middle of nowhere. I mean, <laughs> it is just amazing what you see with this thing, you know. And I had a look. Yeah, this, all these little areas you see here, these are little Aborigine communities, a few houses, and that's about the size of it. Yeah, so we got past uh, Alice Springs. And, um, yeah, that flight is four hours, so... Um, it's a long way and um, I followed it all the way through and here you see air tech number four in Sydney that's stuck it doesn't move anywhere in the moment so I have to find out what's going on there I have to make an inquiry what's going on yeah and then it came close to Melbourne and the closer we got to Melbourne the more pings I got so this is just before the the landing and there you see the plane coming in and then taxiing to the terminal 
and the pings kept coming. So I'm very happy with uh, that worked out. And um, yeah, the, um, the pings from the traveler were always slightly behind the plane. So yeah, understandable because the, uh, the plane is real time. I checked that out the other day and it's really, really close. Yeah, and then the plane went to the terminal, the post got unloaded, went across the, the airport and ended up in the um, Melbourne uh, Qantas Air Freight. And from there, it stood there overnight, and from there we went back onto the airfield. And this is another interesting thing. I saw that loaded into the plane and the next ping I got was in Sydney at the airport. There was nothing in between. I couldn't even figure out which plane it was in. Yeah, it's very, very annoying, but I have no idea which plane it went in. And then the usual thing, you know, it went to the, to the Qantas uh, freight center, then it went to the post uh, uh, center at the airport. And then it made its way to Stressfield, to the customs, no, not to customs, to the mail, state mail sorting center in Stressfield. And again, I could follow it all the way through. There's the center. And uh, it spent the night there. And the next day, it went to the Cholora customs post center. And then it got confusing because instead of going back to the airport, it went south. Bankstown, I said, what is it doing in Bankstown? That's the wrong way. And then it was on the M5 motorway, Preston, that is really south of Sydney. And then it went on the Hume Highway. And I said, oh my, this is going by truck. But Hume Highway, does it go back to Melbourne? I don't believe that. Or does it go to Canberra? I, I, was, I was confused. I couldn't understand what was going on at this point. Why was it on the motorway? What, what, what's happening here? I just, I just didn't get it. So um, I said, OK, let's see where it's going. So I followed it um, uh, as much as I could because I had some jobs to do. So there were some breaks in between where I had to use the iPhone to get some images. And um, I said, yeah, it looks, like, um, it looks like Canberra. But then it went past Canberra. East Wagga Wagga, yes. What's going on? What, where are we going? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just lost, lost the. I said, what's happening here? And then it dawned on me that it's going to Adelaide by road. And I said, what? It went from Darwin to Melbourne to Sydney with air freight and then it went by truck to Adelaide from Sydney. How does that make sense? I just couldn't understand it. And there you see it on the way to, to Adelaide. And then it arrived in Adelaide. And this was another interesting thing. This is the last ping I got from that traveler for three days. That is the, the center where it was. And then for three days I say, saw nothing, and then it turned up in Perth. So it must have gone via truck through the Nullarbor Plains, <coughs> sorry, to, to um, Perth. Yeah, figure that one. I don't understand that. And then I followed it all the way through the airport from the uh, mail center. <coughs> sorry, mate. And uh, it went um, to the Qantas freight at uh, Perth Airport. And then it made its way to the airport itself. And first I said, where is it going there? That doesn't make sense. There was nothing going from Terminal 53, 54, 55. There were the two flights to Dubai and Doha. They went from gate 50 and 51. And then I looked it up and then, yeah, okay, Dubai looked more promising from gate 50 and there it was at gate 50. So I knew at that point it went from Perth to Dubai. And sure enough, it was loaded into the plane to Dubai. 
and uh, I followed it uh, out of Perth, but there were no further pings till we arrived in in Dubai because it was all the way over the over the Indian Ocean. Yeah, and then it arrived at the terminal in Dubai, went to the uh, freight center there, and uh, stayed there for a day. And the next day, it went back out to the tarmac. And then I figured out it was going to wait to Vienna. And sure enough, it went to the terminal and picked that gate. Yes, that was the flight uh, to Vienna. And there we're leaving, um, we're leaving Dubai and uh, flying to Vienna. And again, there were no pings on the way. So the next ping I got was at uh, Vienna Airport. Unlike uh, that flight from Darwin to Melbourne, there were no, no pings on the way. And then it went to the, to the freight center and then obviously got loaded onto a truck. And the next time I saw the, um, the traveler was at the customs uh, post office in Vienna. And from there it went across the road to the mail distribution. That is that little area there. And um, next morning it went into the middle of a field. I said, what the hell is going on? And then when I looked at newer images, that whole area is now an industrial estate. So that made sense. And then it went uh, through several places in Leibniz, which is um, part of Graz. And then it got delivered. And uh, happy landing. And my friend uh, got it. Here's his video. Hi, Max. This is my desktop. It's uh, uh, occasionally uh, not in a very good shape. But look at this. Uh, this is a uh, um, tape. Uh, uh, the air deck you sent to me. It uh, just arrived. Uh, uh, I had to pay um, six euro fifty, uh, but there's no overweight. Uh, overweight, sorry. Uh, and it seems to be that it has been opened by the customs. Okay, so I now will open it. It's ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. I will need a camera assistant, I think. Just a moment. Oops. Very interesting. Look at this. Just a moment. Ah, you see, it's uh, folded. You really make it very exciting. I need a scissor. There it is. And now, Ta -ta. just a moment. Yips. And uh, what's this? White papers. It's still not opened. Oh, there's another text. This is originally by your signature, I see. International Express. So I just try to open it here again. Let's take a look what's inside. Okay. Some kind of tissue. Ta -ta, ta -ta. It's from Australia. And here it is, Max. Your air tag number three.